Uplifting Arizona and inspiring imagination. Kids at the Crayola Experience got an out of this world experience when a real astronaut came to visit. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke is hearing from the little earthlings and an astronaut. Uh, hello. That's what four year old Freddie planned to say upon meeting a real life astronaut on Tuesday. It's a good place to start given that that's what he hopes to be when he grows up. They see aliens. He's using his imagination to envision what it's like to live in space. John Schaffner did the same thing when he was in grade school, turning trash cans into space capsules and art assignments into frames of astrology. After all, he too wanted to be an astronaut when he grows up. You know, as much as I aspired to that at the time, for some reason I didn't pursue it to completion. John realizes the distractions to deter a childhood dream could seem as vast as space these days. He's on a mission to encourage young minds to use their imagination. And from there, he says, possibilities are endless. It, when we encourage that, then we see what the real person is. And then we can begin to teach to that. His interest in space as a 10 year old led him to become a pilot, a race car driver, a STEM educator, and eventually. It's a flight to the International Space Station for 12 days. An astronaut with plans to spend time in the thermosphere this May. He's slated to be a pilot for Axiom Space's mission to the International Space Station. And while up there, he still plans to educate remotely about life in space and lay groundwork to establish the first ever commercial space station. While still at the Crayola Experience in Chandler, he urges future astronauts to use their imagination to think about what it would be like to be in space and share that through art or poetry. Some will be selected and shared from the International Space Station 254 miles from Earth. But if they ask one more question and develop just one more ounce of curiosity, then they can start to open that door. And who knows where that door will lead next. A flag on the moon. For ABC 15's Uplifting Arizona, I'm Jordan Bonke. I think Freddie might be heading to Mars. Yeah, <laughs> you never know where that inspiration comes from. Right. Good for him.